everybody. Um, I'm so glad that you guys are tuning in for day two. I hope you enjoyed yesterday. Um, we're still kind of getting into the groove of how things are going to work for virtual camp. Um, that said, when we do our traditional camps in person, a camp covenant is really important to us because it kind of gives us this promise that we're going to keep to each other and to ourselves of who we are going to be as people while we're at camp. And hopefully they kind of outline some promises you can keep to yourself when you go beyond camp too. And even though we're not going to be in person at camp this summer, we still wanted to do a camp covenant because we still have, there's, we still have a lot of responsibility being online and looking at virtual camp that way. Um, so to get started, one of the first points on our camp covenant is going to be respect. Um, it'll look different because we're doing things virtually. So I'm going to write respect. And being respectful um, online, it looks like a lot of different things. You can, when we're doing our family group time, be respectful of other people's ideas and we don't want to take over different things. Um, be respectful of the staff like myself and others that you've seen making these videos because we put in a lot of effort and a lot of time to bring you guys um, the camp experience at home. Um, so we want to be, I hope you guys are respectful of us. So the next point I'm gonna add on the Camp Covenant is to have fun. And you might be thinking, well, if this is virtual, you know, how are we gonna have fun at camp? Well, we're still providing you a lot of different ways to have fun at home. Um, I really encourage you guys to participate. I know yesterday and today, we're doing a little more um, kind of rules and just information about camp. But when we get started into our our schedule, um, I really want everyone to participate and oop, and to engage and just really be involved in what we're doing because I'm really having a lot of fun planning some of these things and so I hope that you guys have fun also. So the third point that I'm gonna put on our covenant is to speak up. Most of the stuff that we're doing during the day is going to be posted. Um, there's not a lot of interaction with that. Um, but if you do have something to say, we would love to hear from you in the comments. You can message us. When we're doing our family group time, that is a safe space, just like it would be if you were here at camp with us. Um, and so if you have something to say, please speak up. We're here for you guys, and we want you to be able to have your camp experience no matter where you are. So that's all the things that we're going to put on our Camp Covenant. If there's more things that you really want um, to be known and that you would like to add, please comment, message us. We would be happy to add some new things because this covenant, it's not for me, it's not for other people that are here at camp. It is for you guys so that we can all have this promise together and we can all have this great experience. Um, so I'm gonna sign it just as we would at camp. I'm gonna sign it on behalf of all of Birchwood. because this is our promise that we're holding to each other and to ourselves. Um, and so I hope to see y'all next time.